Ah, there's nothing quite like the smell of fresh maple sap on a winter day. Welcome to Pixarize a Scene on Maple Syrup Urine Disease, part of our playlist on the metabolic disorders. Let's bring ourselves to the heart of New England, to the site of an accident at the maple syrup farm. First, focus on how this maple tree is being tapped. It seems like they tapped this tree right above a split in its trunk. Notice how the split trunk resembles a pair of legs, so that the tree kind of seems like it's, uh, urinating? This urinating maple tree is our anchor to help you remember the term maple syrup urine disease, as well as its classic clinical presentation, sweet-smelling maple syrup urine in the diapers of affected children. Smelling diapers. Oh, the things parents will do for their kids. Thanks, Mom. Next, take a look at the small cart being used to collect maple sap. This maple syrup farm is just a tiny family business, and this small cart should remind us of the autosomal recessive inheritance in maple syrup urine disease. Small vehicles or automobiles are a recurring symbol for autosomal recessive inheritance, just like this small cart here. Now let's focus on the main characters in this story. That's right, it's the tree branches. Take a look at this huge branch that's fallen from our tree. It seems like someone was trying to hang this hydra-themed keychain around this branch when it fell. Maybe it's that Hydra figurines are supposed to bring good luck for a fruitful maple syrup harvest. I... I don't know anything about maple syrup farms. What I do know is that this Hydra-themed keychain is our recurring symbol for branch-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase. If you've watched our scene on vitamin B1 biochemistry, you might recognize this branch with a chain on it as branched chain, the keys as keto acid and the hydra is our recurring symbol for dehydrogenase enzymes, or dehydrogenase enzymes. Putting it all together, we get branch-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase. A defect of branch-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase is the pathological cause behind maple syrup urine disease. So now that we know the cause, let's talk about the consequences of this defect. Notice all of those branches strewn across the ground, Branch-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase is important for the breakdown of branch-chain amino acids, and its defect causes a buildup of these branched compounds. You can remember this as the accumulation of branches on the ground of this scene. Next, check out the painted words on the cart. I love Vermont. Knowing that branch-chain amino acids buildup is good, but not enough, you also have to know the names of the specific amino acids involved. These are isoleucine, leucine, and valine abbreviated I, L, and V, respectively. We could have represented these with symbols, but a common way people learn to remember this is just by the phrase, I love Vermont, for the letters I, L, and V. Fits in perfectly with this maple syrup vibe, doesn't it? Related to the buildup of branch-chain amino acids is one of the treatments of the disease. Namely, this is simply dietary restriction of the problematic amino acids, isoleucine, leucine, and valine. If you can't use it, just don't eat it right? So now that we've got the fundamentals out of the way, let's talk about the clinical features you need to recognize in vignettes. Besides the characteristic urine that smells like maple syrup, there's a few more points you should remember. The first feature is symbolized by how this branch has hit our maple syrup farmer on the head, knocking him out. Ah! Yep, that's a big hit to the head. Must have really messed up his brain. This brain-damaged man is here to help you remember the finding of brain damage in maple syrup urine disease. While the exact mechanism of how excessive branch-chain amino acids causes this is unclear, extensive demyelination and neuronal degeneration are seen in patients with the disease. This CNS damage manifests mainly as lethargy and posturing in patients. This posturing has nothing to do with how you are slumping in a chair to watch this video, by the way. Instead, it refers to the strange resting positions of the bodies and limbs after CNS damage. To help you remember posturing, we've also drawn our man lying in the classic decerebit position, although decorticate posturing is also seen in the disease. Next, take a look at this turtle. You're a long way from the pond here, buddy. You might recognize this turtle as Pixarize's recurring symbol for developmental delay. You can remember this because what's more delayed than a turtle? Also, this makes sense in the context of all the brain damage we just spoke about. And, okay, okay, I kind of fibbed earlier. Our syrup farmer man is not just passed out. He might actually be dead. Just look at those eyes. Our poor guy is here to help you remember that early death occurs in most patients with maple syrup urine disease. 
so you should consider maple syrup urine disease only in vignettes with newborns and young children on test day. Finally, although most treatments are not very effective, test writers want you to know them, since they are related to the biochemical basis of the disease. We've already mentioned restricting dietary intake of the problematic amino acids, but there's one more you should know. Take a look at our poor guy's friend trying to help by moving this branch. As he exerts his thighs, take note of that B gun strapped to his waist. Look familiar? That's right. This B gun is our recurring symbol for vitamin B1. B gun for B1. Since B1 is also called thiamine, our helping friend has huge thighs. Thiamine or thiamine or vitamin B1 can be used to treat maple syrup urine disease, and this is especially high yield. If you saw our scene on vitamin B1 biochemistry, you would know that thiamine pyrophosphate, or TPP, is a key component forming branched-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase. Since it is exactly this enzyme's activity that is affected in maple syrup urine disease, one treatment is to just make more of the enzyme by increasing thiamine levels. Just remember our B gun and you'll be set for test day. And that's it for maple syrup urine disease. To recap, this disease results from an autosomal recessive defect in branched-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase, a vitamin B1-dependent enzyme. Branched-chain amino acids such as isoleucine, leucine, and valine build up in cells and cause brain damage, mental retardation, and early death. And of course, the classical finding is in the name, sweet-smelling maple syrup urine. Wonderful. Well, it's been quite a ride. Who's feeling some pancakes now? We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.